Welcome to Mark of the Machines in the third paint report, aka Tank Brush Commander. Today I'll continue my line of work on the Warjacks and do the Kodiak Boris. Once he's done, I'll finally be able to work on and play my Butcher of Karloff Cannonball list without feeling bad for feeling an unpainted Warjack. And I can't wait to see him do naughty things to the enemy army under full throttle. At any rate, this is his current state. I put Catechin Green and Bastia Brown on all respective pieces except for the head, which only lacks its string of red and final gold highlighting to be finished and the torso where, where I already applied Space Wolf Grey. Next up I finished all the metal bits as usual with Boca Metal and Better Black. The boiler is considered finished at this point. Actually I reconsidered the pattern of the armored fists and went with the studio version. I therefore had to repaint the big plate on them with Bastia Brown. I then did the f red parts by first applying red gore and then blood red and I also painted the legs and head with Nala green. These are the finished legs after doing the gold and correcting any or other most painting mistakes. The brass, th brass thing sticking out of the tin pit is my pinning snake. Once the torso is on there's no way this will ever move again. Ok I finished the gold and metal parts on the fists and head. The head is finished now, save for some corrective painting with Chaos Black, and I'm happy how it turned out. It's the coolest looking head of all jacks, bar the one Torch has. This is after cleaning up the mess on the fists. I'm going to take on the torso next, a more or less intimidating effort, even though I already finished the metal parts. I'm going to make all those knobs on his shoulder golden, and I don't want to ruin my red. And as you can see, it worked, more or less. I mean, I painted one yard standard. Looks good from one yard away. Oh, and that hole is for the aforementioned pin. And here he goes. Okay, he's only pre-assembled, the top is not glued on and the boiler is missing, but he's looking good already, me thinks. I chose this pose, by the way, to contrast a little with the other jacks who have their arms closer to their body, especially the Devastator. Actually I'm now out of prime jacks. I still have another juggernaut and beast 09 to go, but the heavy winter over here keeps me from priming. So I think I'll switch to something else. It'll probably a man be a man of war of sorts, maybe the dracoon already, otherwise the demo core. But until then, farewell. <laughs>